afternoon, brothers and sisters, in the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Monday, the 23rd of May, and the time is 12 uh, midday. And I would like to bring this message, and, and I'm going to speak boldly for our people, for the true, true Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites. The devil was there from the beginning. The serpent was there from the beginning to the end. He knows who are the chosen race. And he's going to inflict pain from the beginning of time until the end on those people. And you've got to see it as a spiritual battle. It is not about colors of skin. It is not about uh, what race you are, what creed you are, what caste you are. But it is about the chosen ones of the Lord and Savior. Now I'm going to bring into account in bringing what's happening on your television right now into the Bible and make it relevant for today for you so that you can have an understanding of the spiritual implications of that battle from the Garden of Eden and how the devil hates the, the humanity and how he especially despises the chosen ones of, of God, the favorites. Hallelujah. Uh, Numbers 16 verse 46. I'm going to recap um, two days, Saturday's message, the children of Korah, I'm going to go there, who are the sons of Korah, uh, number 16 verse 46, and Moses said unto Aaron, take a censer and put them therein from, from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly into the congregation, and make atonement for them, for their wrath is gone out from the Lord, the plague is begun, and Moses took, as, and Aaron and Moses took uh, wait, and Aaron took as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the congregation and behold the plague was begun among the people and he put on incense and made an atonement for the people and he stood before between the dead and the living and the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were 14,700 beside them that died about the matter of Korah and Aaron and Aaron to return unto Moses unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and the plague was stayed. The plague was stayed. This is the topic that I'm going to be speaking about. Now, you know, it pains me on, on television. This, this thing has got nothing to do with Africa right now. It origin, all the countries where it's a, a, a prevalent now, where it's emerging. I saw now, just past the television, 80 cases in 15 countries. And none of them are in, in Africa. But yet you are seeing these images of, of dark-skinned melanites, melanin, dark-skinned people with these sores on their bodies. What has Africa got to do with this? And what is the deal with why Europe hates Africa? That is why I told you that the, the enemy, the devil, he wants to annihilate the children of Israel, the true Hebrew Israelites. Now, you must understand that the book of Revelation was written for the future. It was not done. And I've mentioned this in the past, but I'm going to come back to this. And I'm going to unpack Revelation 3 for you. Right? And so that you can, it will make you understand who are the 12 scattered tribes of Israel over the seas. I will get back to that teaching. It's in one of my videos. But, um previous videos but i just want to bring in and i'm going to unpack revelation 3 for you revelation 3 which has not yet happened right revelation 3 verse 8 i'll start there i know thy works behold i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for thou hast little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name just pause you know what i just remembered now you know with regards to this um, MP, this thing, regarding this thing, when this uh, the C-19 hit, did, did we see um, Asian or, or Dragon Principality peoples being depicted on television? No. But now why are we seeing uh, Af Africans and dark-skinned Melanites that are being depicted with this, but none of the countries registered have have this 
that, that are of African de uh, origin. But now why are they depicting this? This is the devil's uh, agenda. The annihilation of the true Hebrew Israelites. The true children of God. The ones that he loved from the beginning. That adhered to his principles. The, that are not the Gentiles. Hallelujah. So now it says in verse 9, I want you to take, care of, to take heed of this one. This is the important one. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Before whose feet? Before the true Hebrew Israelites. Now God is saying he's going to reveal who he loved from the beginning in front of all these people. And they will come and bow down at the feet of the true Hebrew Israelites. And to know that I have loved thee always. I'm going to read it in another translation. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, yet, you have kept my word, we have kept the Lord's word, and have not denied my name. Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not but lie. Behold, I will make them come and down, bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you. Because you have kept my word about patient endurance. I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the world, on the whole world. To try those who dwell on the earth. I'm coming soon. Hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown. The, the one who conquers, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Never shall he go out. Of it, and I will pour, and I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down from my God out of heaven, and my own new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. This is a letter from John, Saint John the Divine, on the Isle of Patmos. He wrote this, the revelation. This is the revelation that the Lord revealed. The same way He reveals this. To his children today, the true Hebrew Israelites. There you'll see it. Why is this verse in Revelation? And who are the fake Jews? You need to understand scripture today. And how it's being revealed. Why are they persecuting and um, persecuting the Africans? Why is the devil always at Africa? What has Africa done to the rest of the world. What is it? This is a spiritual battle, brothers and sisters. It is a spiritual battle where it's not about color. It is about the chosen ones of the Lord and Savior. The, the Lord our Savior. And who, what was the purpose of the true Hebrew Israelites? They adhered to the word of God. And God loved them because of that. Jews and Gentiles. But the Lord said that in the end, he will pour out upon all flesh and there will be no more Jew nor Gentile. But why? I want to bring this into, into, into context. Why are they persecuting the Africans? When you see this on television today, on your television, you're going to be wondering why these words are going to be ringing with you. Why this? And why are they, are they focusing on this? The African the Melanites, the ones with melon and dark skin. Why? When we had nothing to do with this. We had nothing to do with this. This, But there's a persecution going out. And it's just getting stronger and stronger. And this is a spiritual attack by the devil. From the devil. From the kingdom of darkness. He's attacking the true Hebrew Israelites. That are hidden, uh, scattered among uh, across the world. I hope this message fell on good ears and it will make you think on what the spiritual implications across the globe today and who the children of God really are. He will pour out his spirit. Hallelujah.